Starlink is currently the only low Earth orbit satellite internet service available to most consumers worldwide. But that's about to change because their rival, Amazon's Project Kuiper service, is beginning to launch their service next week. SpaceX Starlink definitely got the head start. They definitely have the advantage of being first to market. They've been offering satellite internet service to home internet customers for about four years now. But their monopoly may soon be coming to an end as early as later this year because Amazon and United Launch Alliance, or ULA, has just announced that they will be completing their first production Project Kuiper mission next week. We've been waiting on Amazon for months now to schedule the first full-scale deployment of their Project Kuiper constellation, and it's finally here. So they've scheduled it for Wednesday, April 9th. The launch window opens at 12 p.m. noon. That's Eastern Standard Time. This first launch, one of about 80 for Project Kuiper, is called KA-01, that stands for Kuiper Atlas, because they're gonna be using United Launch Alliance, ULA. They're gonna be using their Atlas V rocket to get these first 27 Project Kuiper satellites into orbit. With this first launch, that will start the mass deployment of Project Kuiper. This will be the first step in the long deployment stage where they have to just launch rocket after rocket after rocket to try to get to at least the minimum number of satellites required. So overall, Project Kuiper wants to deploy around 3,200 low Earth orbit satellites eventually, but they really only need about 600 to start delivering the first service to enterprise customers. An important note here is that they're gonna focus initially on those business and enterprise customers. Those are gonna be the first people that go online with this new service. Home internet and other consumer services will follow later. Amazon says that this first launch will be about one of 80 total launches that they have scheduled to deploy their constellation. Most of those are gonna be with ULA on their Vulcan rocket. That's a newer rocket that they have that can transport, I think around 45 Project Kuiper satellites. But this first launch and then the second launch, whenever they schedule that, will be on the Atlas V. That's an older rocket only capable of handling around 27 of those Project Kuiper satellites, but that'll at least get them going, get those first satellites in orbit, and get them rolling, because that is the really important step here. Over the last year or so, Amazon and Project Kuiper have been pretty quiet. There hasn't been really too much development since they did their prototype test mission. So in case you weren't aware, Amazon actually did launch two of their first satellites, their prototype satellites, into orbit. Uh, I think that was back in 2023, late 2023. And with those two satellites, they performed a bunch of testing. They completely end-to-end -end tested their system, making sure that communications could flow both ways from the satellite antennas on the ground, the user terminals, up to the satellites, back down to the ground stations, and then the other way, of course. So they were able to verify and end-to-end -end test all of their systems using those first two prototype satellites. Since then, those satellites have been deorbited, so those are no longer used. And Amazon also says that this next batch, this 27 satellites are gonna be going into orbit next week. They're actually much upgraded over the prototype satellites. So they say everything's basically been improved from the laser interlinks to the phased array antennas to the propulsion systems. So everything's been upgraded and now they have a final production satellite that they've been mass producing and that now apparently they are ready to go and start launching into orbit. Amazon is saying that they could start delivering service at the end of this year. But really all that depends on how successful they are with this first mission, this first Atlas V launch. So if they have a successful launch on this Atlas V rocket and they get 27, or at least a majority of their satellites operational into orbit, that can start kickstart off a process of mass deployment where they can continually launch, you know, maybe every week, every two weeks, that sort of thing. It just kind of depends. Um, Amazon says that they have several Atlas V launches scheduled, but most of their launches will be through ULA Vulcan. That new rocket is how they're really gonna deploy this uh, Project Kuiper constellation. And they're relying on that because it can hold a lot more satellites than the Atlas V. Amazon also has arrangements with other launch providers like Blue Origin and even SpaceX. So they have around 30 of their launches scheduled with 
other providers, and then the rest of them are mainly with ULA. This definitely looks to be more than just kind of a test or an initial flight though, because Amazon says that they've already started shipping and constructing the satellites for the next launch, which will also be on a ULA Atlas V. So we could see, you know, kind of like a SpaceX kind of launch cadence if things go well for this first mission. I definitely don't expect them to kind of get into the groove like SpaceX is with Starlink where they're launching sometimes multiple times a week. But if they could hit that one once a week or once every couple weeks kind of cadence, we could see some real progress in this Project Kuiper Constellation. They're gonna be live streaming this launch, which I will be watching and I suggest you do the same as well if you're a fan of satellite internet like I am. And I know that I'm super excited for this as well. I know a lot of my audience are Starlink customers and I am as well, I'm a Starlink fan as well. But this is exciting because competition is good for everybody. So Starlink right now basically has a monopoly on low earth orbit satellite internet and Amazon's Project Kuiper is gonna be their first real rival, their first real competition. And that's good for everybody. I don't care if you're a Starlink customer, if you're a Starlink fan, or maybe you've been avoiding Starlink or avoiding satellite internet altogether. The fact is that everybody, every consumer will have more options when we have more competitors in the market. So it's good for everybody. That's really the bottom line here. So that's why I'm excited. I'm excited to see in a few years time, you know, where we're at and what kind of content that I'm producing on this channel. I'm definitely gonna be covering Project Kuiper as things develop. Hopefully, whenever they start launching their home internet and travel internet services, I'll be able to do the same kinds of reviews, tutorials, and other kinds of news updates, uh, videos that I do right now for Starlink. So for me personally, I'm super excited for the future of Amazon's Project Kuiper, the kinds of things that they're gonna be doing, the hardware that they're gonna be releasing, and I'm especially excited to compare Starlink and Amazon's Project Kuiper head to head in some of these upcoming review videos. But obviously I don't wanna to get too far ahead of myself here, even though I'm excited, they still haven't actually launched any into orbit yet. So we'll just have to see what happens after next week to see if they're successful in launching their first 27 satellites. But once things get going, I think it's gonna be just a matter of time before we have a Starlink rival that's finally gonna compete against SpaceX for low earth orbit satellite internet customers. Again, that first launch is scheduled for next Wednesday. That's the that's the 9th of April. It's gonna be at 12 p.m. Eastern time. And I suggest you tune into that live stream that they're gonna host. I think it opens around 20 minutes before liftoff. I will post a link to that live stream down in the description below. And of course, any other developments that happen with Project Kuiper, make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with all that, all that stuff. And I'd also love to hear from you in the comments below. Are you looking forward to seeing what Project Kuiper has to offer? Or are you just, you know, a Starlink fan only and you're not interested at all with what Amazon has to, is gonna come out with? Uh, love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.